out our official sponsor, Greenwood Stock Trading. If you want to learn how to make some passive income, some extra money, so you can invest in your future and your kids' future, give them a call for a free 10-minute consultation, 281-760-3170. Go get to the bag. All right, man. Canelo responds to Benavidez um, and plan Benavidez continuing to call him out. And these dudes just sound like Floyd Mayweather kids. That's what they sound like. All right. Oh, you know, you know, I didn't been fought the good fighters and I didn't did this to good fighters before. And everybody said they good. They sound like Floyd carbon copies. Like, damn, get off this nigga dick, dude. Just, you know, be yourself. You know, just be yourself. All these dudes just riding. Uh, oh, you know, oh, oh, you know, I've been in there with good fighters. This nigga then lost the good fighters, bro. Uh, legitimately in robber, by you know, and rob motherfucker. You know what I mean? So everybody hopping on this. Oh, Benavidez has already signed a three fight deal. You think Al Heyman can't do a scenic route, bro? And tell you know, oh, hold on, Morel, hold on, Andre, hold on, Charlo. Uh, let me get David and Canelo, and they will easily step aside and allow him to get Canelo. So that ain't no thing, Canelo. Ain't got the balls to fight Benavidez until he showed me he got the balls. He can say everything he want to say, but we know his track record. Let's call a spade a spade. We know his track record. Now, um, um, think about just Demetrius Beevil for a minute. This motherfucker fighting Beevil over a year later. Over a year, year and a half later, right? Because it was last May. So he won't fight him this May. So he going to wait till a year and a half later to fight him. You know what I'm saying? They made them fight Triple G. I understand financially they felt it was going to be a big fight, and we know that failed. That failed. You know, it wasn't as big fight as they think it is. Cool. We knew it. You know what I'm saying? We knew it. You know, we knew it wasn't going to be the biggest fight. So, nonetheless, um, you know, nonetheless, uh, you know, but he fight them later. So, I mean, it is what it is. And stopping better BF and Canelo. I mean, better BF and Bevel and, and stopping, and, and stopping you know, holding up two divisions. Like, bro, come on. Canelo reacts to David Benavidez calling him, uh, being called the monster. It's not the same to have me. Um, he said, you ha you ha you see you see a monster, obviously, with a different fighter in the ring. But it's not the same to have me with other fighters. Said Testy Canelo to the media about David Benavidez and um, by David Benavidez as a Mexican monster, we already saw Golovkin. It's not the same. They said he was a knockout artist, a monster, and, and, and in the end, what did he do? Everyone must know since they always have me uh, there from the Golovkin era, Lar, Eric Canelo, uh, said Canelo. They said he's not going to fight him. He's a monster. It's not the same to have me with other fighters. It's obviously I'm going to win. Uh, it's, he's going to win the early rounds. Said Canelo about Caleb playing his fight against Benavidez is different. Said Canelo when asked what it meant uh, that he was able to knock uh, playing Benavidez that the fact that he wasn't knocked out doesn't mean he's Benavidez not as good not a good fighter. There are simply rivals who lend themselves to him more than others. He said maybe not the same, but he's a good fighter. He's a warrior. And he's did a good did uh, did a good fight. Said Canelo. If Plant looked the same, and yeah, he said he's a good fighter, but everybody said the same thing before I fought Golovkin. He's a monster. He's going to knock out Canelo. He's this, he's that. At the end of the day, it's not the same. Being in the ring with other fighters than this would be being me is different. I like the challenge of Benavidez, fighting Benavidez, but I have a different goal in, in career. It's hard fighting, uh, fight for me, but I like the challenge. I've been in the ring with a, a lot of years and a lot of hard fights, but you can't say no. Benavidez is a good fighter, but I, I've been in the ring with hard fights, every single hard fight there, 68. No, you haven't. Uh, Canelo uh, when asked if he would be campaigning at 75. I mean, this motherfucker, man, oh, you know, I have a different goal right now, but I would like to fight him. Why the fuck out of here, dude? Fight him or don't fight him. When, 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 they, when they order it, okay, they order it. When they order it, let us, just let us know. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And he confirmed, and I understand fighting Dimitri Bivol. I'm not going to say Benavidez is more important than Bivol. It's more lucrative. Uh, it's more lucrative than Bivol. For sure. It's more lucrative than Bivol, but I get it. You know, we complain about these dudes not going for legacy, but legacy-wise, there's a legacy fight for him. 
You know, a lot of great fighters have been in the ring, you know, two or three times versus the same opponent. You know, a lot of guys have been in the ring two or three times um, versus the same opponent, and that's what makes, you know, fighters great. You know, uh, Sugar Ray fought Brasilio twice. He fought Jake LaMotta a bunch of times. You know what I'm saying? Bernard Hopkins and Jermaine Taylor fought twice. I mean, that's, you know, that's what make these, these that's what make these rivalries great. You know, unfortunately, De La Hoya didn't get back in the ring with Oscar, didn't get back in the ring with Trinidad. That was unfortunate, and they should have. You know, even Roberto Duran and Sugar Ray got in the ring a couple of times. Even him and Tom, Thomas Hearn got in the ring a few times. So that's, you know, that's 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 what it is. That's what it is, you know. So, you know, he creating his own legacy by getting in the ring with another guy multiple times and if he come back and beat him that just speaks to his greatness and his legacy you know because this dude beat him under whatever conditions they had before i assume the conditions would be the same so if you can come back and beat him and, and convince him fast and faster with, with no asterisks by it and no controversy behind him and he can beat him i mean you know that just speaks to you know how great he was in his era that's exactly what it speaks to so um, but that's what fight's about. It's not about keeping an un undefeated record. You know? So. You know, when you, you know, when you have no, when you have no, uh, you know, no, no pressure to win, but it's different. It's him. You know, but but uh but yeah, I I I'm I'm perfectly fine with him fighting uh Uh, with Dimitri Bivol. Yeah, I don't feel like he has to fight Ken, uh, David Benavidez next, but I would like to see it in a, in a respectable time manner. You know, I would like to see it in a respectable time manner. So, you know, I would like to see it, you know, maybe May next year, and you know, next year, September next year, you know, but it's only going to get worse for him if Benavidez keep winning and, and get the experience that he need. It's only going to get worse for Canelo. It's only going to get worse for him. You heard they, uh, Eddie told us an easier fight. You know, well, we, we have to wait and see. You know, he said, I don't watch a lot of opponents, but I saw it one, one time, two times, but – that's the highlights. Yes, said Canelo to behind the glove and ask about Ryder. Said, well, I don't like a lot of watch them. I hate that old Floyd Mayweather cliche bullshit. People want to say that shit to East. I just hate these cliche Mayweather things. No single fight is easy. Every fight is hard, but I think it's similar. I don't know. I need uh, uh, first to know, said Canelo reacted to being told that Eddie Hearn said Benavidez is easier than Beaver. I think what he uh, Hearn has tried to say is Beaver was at 75 one way class up. He was really good fighter. He solid campaign at 75. Uh, that's what he uh, maybe tried to say. I don't know. I need to find out. It's not made and it's not make sense to respond to that, right? Canelo wasn't told that his former reporter, uh Oscar, I'm former promoter Oscar De La Hoya said that Alvarez is regressing as a fighter by facing all these British fighters rather than the big boys that will build his legacy. Ben Vita as B will better be at. Once last year he acted a little crazy, so it's better not to answer no comment. He should have answered. He probably right. He probably right. Eddie Hearn just getting his boys paid, and you're not sharpening your tools. You know, you should be stepping it up in competition right now. This is the end of your prime. This is the end of your prime. So you should be building your legacy. And, you know, regardless what the media try to do, kiss his ass. Regardless what what people what people do trying to kiss his ass or whatever the situation may be, we know that it's a lot of guys that he didn't fight in this era. You know.
So that's the facts. But you know, like I said before, man. Um, hopefully he fight better be that. Hopefully he fight guys young and they and they and they and they prime. But what we what we, we did know, um, but what we do know is that he didn't fight dudes and they a lot of these dudes that he didn't fight that we wanted to see him fight in a prime. He didn't fight, you know, the Charlos. He didn't fight Demetrius Andrade. You know what I'm saying? He waited out Golovkin a little bit too. If we being real, it wasn't a lot, but. You know, it is what it is. Uh, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.